So the short story that I love is Brokeback Mountain by Annie Prue. Um, it's the most primitive of love stories, tracking this forbidden desire between two cowboys that begins one illicit summer upon a rural idol that comes to elude them and then eventually breaks them. That mountain is everything in this story. The catalyst, the conduit, it enables their relationship, it protects it, it hides it. It's the only place they allow themselves to be true to themselves, where they first believe themselves invisible. And it's in the background, always looming. All we got is Brokeback Mountain. You know, everything hinges upon it. And throughout the story, Prue has Jack and Ennis ascending it and descending it, the mountain they cannot climb. And all the while representing that sense of stasis that really defines their relationship. In, in fact, it's, it's that symbiotic relationship that Prue draws between character and setting and right through a 20 year time frame that I've been trying to emulate in my own work for years and without that success. Likewise, it's those puncturing sentences. They're criminally short and clipped and barely there as if to represent the desolation and their pinprick lives that matter to no one else. It's how much imagery and, and soul that Prue packs into each and every one of them. So as to remind us that time is always passing, the sense of time flying, never enough time, never enough. Um, but mainly it's the dialogue that I love. When it comes, it's barely there, but yet it knows exactly what to say and no more. And this story is all about that negotiation because this is also a story about two male voices colliding, one that wants to rodeo it from the rooftops and the other who can't admit it even to himself. So as Prue writes, nothing ended, nothing begun, nothing resolved. And so Brokeback Mountain becomes this fantasy place that Lorene believes Jack created, his place, some pretend place, where the bluebirds swing and the, and the whiskey spring. It's one of the greatest love stories in my book because it was a love that came to nothing.